the ice tower is here. When you look at that guys, I just log into Prodigy and Wizard Watch opens up. What's the first thing which we see? The ice tower is here. Well, when you look at that, what day is it? It is the 31st of August. And as you guys saw in the previous videos, I did predict that we would get the ice tower around the 31st in approximately 7 days from this. So it has been 7 days and now the ice tower is out in Prodigy. So we're not going to waste a second. Let's get on straight to that. The ice tower is here. There's zero information about this in the game portal. But let's get to it. Unlock the ice tower today. Yes, I want to leave to the academy. Oh, oh, oh! Alright, so when we enter the academy, the first thing you can see is that the pedestal has an exclamation mark above it. And what does an exclamation mark mean? That means we can place. And then there's a hand telling us ready to place. So when you click on that, you guys will see that we place down the hand and it says a door on the second floor has been opened. I can already feel a chill from the ice tower door unlocking. I wish I brought the mittens. Alright, so it seems like Newt can tell that the ice tower door has opened. Oh, what? Alright, let's head up. We have two pedestals placed. Let's go up further. And now we shall be able to obtain access to the legendary one and only... One and only ice tower. And as seen over there, the ice tower is open. Let's head inside and see what's up. Oh. Oof, it's so cold in here. We're in the ice tower, all right. No duh, no duh. Oh, damn, the music's good. <laughs> Wizards come here to study ice magic. That's why there's so much snow everywhere. What do you expect? It's literally named the ice tower, but so far Newt is giving us an intro of it. Oh, you're finally here. I was starting to think that the puppet master caught you too. Ah, uh, you know, if the Puppet Master did, that would have stopped the entire wizard span. And if you guys want to know where the Puppet Master actually failed, here's the link the link of the video where the Puppet Master messed up is actually in the description. So guys, click on that. It will show you just where he failed. But now let's get to this. Ah, uh, what? What is this? Huh? What? Ada, I'm so happy that we finally found you. Uh, well, almost. Yeah, Ada, that's the name. It's been too long, Newt. Don't worry about me. I'm not in any danger. Ah, alright. I had no doubt about that. You are definitely the toughest of the five wardens. Alright, so from this it already seems like the Newt and Ada are friends. We all have our strengths and weaknesses to work on. Currently, however, I'm locked in my office without the key. How do you lock yourself in your office without the key? Knowing the Puppet Master, they must have hidden the key at the top of the tower on the 8th floor. Do you think you'll be able to retrieve it? Of course I will. What do you think I am? Don't worry about it. We can get the key and get you out of there. I expected no less from you, old friend. Yes, you I see. They are friends. Yes. Alright, the ice tower elevator and make our way to the 8th floor to find that key. Alright, so now it seems we have to take the ice tower and just get to the 8th floor. This should be easy, not too hard. But the area, wait, is that a boom? Is that a Quidditch broom which we can use to fly around on brooms and and hit magical flying balls all around which knock people off brooms like a hundred feet? Well anyways, you can see we've unlocked everything. We can click on the door I believe. No, yeah, we can. Alright, so now what we need to do is we need to go into the elevator and start, well, start battling some monsters. So let's see how this will go. Alright, Ice Tower and we have entered. A moment please. The ice tower has been overrun with monsters under the influence of shadow magic. Uh, what do you expect? It's a puppet master. The puppet master doesn't like to make things easy, you know? Uh, I'd say everything is pretty easy if you ask me. Don't worry about it, Ada. We should be able to handle it, no problem. No problem at all. You know, I was expecting the difficulty to go up by tower, but we're still only having to do three battles. This will be quite easy. Many thanks, and good luck. Thank you! Alright, well obviously there's an academy page just begging us to click on it right over there. So let's click that, let's head to the side over here, and shall we find our first monster? No, we shan't. No, we shall not. Yeah, we shall not find our first monster, but there's another cool gate. So let's head through this cool gate, quite literally, it's cool, and see what's on the other side. Oh, this is nice. 
Alright, so it seems like everything is covered in snow, the books, the pens, the quills, the whiteboard. The whiteboard seems to have the same instructions as the previous board. This one even teaches water. I believe it's telling us about triangles. Yes, 65 upon 3 by 6 is equivalent to water droplets. Ah, yes. Anyways, you guys can see, I'm just going to appreciate the entire area of the ice tower. It looks so cool. Unfortunately, there haven't been any wizards here in a long time, but other than that, it looks quite cool. Alright, so now we're facing a fork in the road. There are two options which we can choose. Let's head down. Again? Let's head down once again. I've been seeing a l Oh! Oh! My kittens! They're on top of the tables! This is amazing! I have unlocked a new mode of godliness. My kittens can walk on the tables! Uh, it would be so cool if they left- It would be so cool if they left fingerprints. But now it does seem like we've unlocked how many teaching rooms are there there's only one teacher warden so why are there so many chairs are they like constantly moving around rooms to teach i'll well, either way if you ask me so far it seems like these archives are way way larger than the previous ones because i'm still searching huh finally uh dead end let's head to the side back up we're trying to find where these creepy sneaky monsters could be hiding uh, not here, I suppose, to decide once again. Alright, here we go. We found ourselves a monster. This shouldn't be too hard now. We found it, so let's... Uh, okay! Alright, it seems like we've gotten ourselves into a monster battle against our first monster, which happens to be two ice collars along with, well, a fishbowl. Darn it, it's a fishbowl! Why? Alright, so I'm just gonna use, um... Well, I'm just gonna lo use Luma's epic attack to deal damage to the entire enemy team and probably use my Astral Wizard to take care of the, well, fishbowl. As suspected, we're doing approximately zero damage to the fishbowl as we are a water type, as we are a fire type pet, and I expect a lot of damage back over here. Power. It was quite a standard battle, nothing exciting happened. Now what I'm looking at is the amount of stars which we'll get after. Alright, 35 stars each, that is not too bad at all. We have approximately 2 fire pets in our inventory along with 1 astral. And let's click next, we've got another 5 academy pages, not bad at all. Uh, <laughs> Alright, 1 battle, 1 monster defeated, 2 more to go. We only have to defeat two more monsters. How long could this take? Five years later. <laughs> huh, another dead end. This is unfortunate. Quite unfortunate indeed. What? Confusion, one million! Well, let's just head up. Up once again. Up, 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 up. To the side. Ah, as observed, another monster is here. Let's quickly switch out of my pet team so that Luma won't take any more damage and boom. Alrighty, another wizard battle has been accomplished, and now we're fighting against approximately a fish bot and some other pets. So let's do. Alrighty, another standard wizard battle complete, and now all we have to do is we have to find three more monsters, three more. Now all we have to do is we have to find three more monsters, destroy them, and we should be good to go. Alrighty, so that was quite nice. Let's just click the next button and move on. Come on. Oh, okay. You know, I forget that there's no next button because Prodigy removed that and changed that with the X. Otherwise, the next button would be so much easier to click on. Like, it's just there. You don't have to move your mouse up. Hum. Let's head right. Down. We have definitely not been here, I believe we have. Another monster has been found! Let us destroy. Bruh. 
let us destroy this monster and once we have done that we shall see what will happen after finishing one floor and of course the only thing which you guys saw was a quick time lapse of this going on now it does seem like we're facing a same or similar type team comp as last time so i'm gonna quickly use my mischief and see how well this goes Ah, well that wasn't much, that wasn't any stronger than, what do you call it, that wasn't any stronger than Luma's attack, so I am quite, quite heavily disappointed by that, but now I do believe we shall be able to complete off this stage quite easily. It will only take us a few attacks, so it won't take us too long. Aha, approximately... Yeah, well, there's only one pet or one opponent which remains to fight us. So now what we shall do is we shall destroy our one opponent. And once we have done that, we have taken zero damage so far. And once we destroy our only remaining opponents, we should be able to proceed on quite further. Like ah, that is quite satisfying as we have defeated the last monster which we will ever need to attack so far on this one floor of the Ice Tower. And now that we have done that, we should be able to complete it, head to back to the elevator. And then we will be able to, well, complete the first floor of the Ice Tower. Let's see what happens once we complete it. I want to know. Ah, fortunately they show us the way back. Otherwise it would have been quite triggered if we weren't given the way back. Because you guys would have searched for that and it would be such a nightmare. I remember a time when they didn't show you guys the way back. So you guys would actually have to spend like double the time trying to find how to get back. Found it! Aha! Let's step on into the elevator, of course, and... Now, we are given two options. We can go to the common room or go to the second floor. I'm gonna go to the common room. Oh! What? Alright. Okay, so it says that if we leave without winning three battles, we'll have to start over. So what I believe I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, well... Alright, so I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click go to the second floor. New didn't train me, I did most of the training myself. Hello? Well, you're too kind. Well, we still have seven floors to go, so let's keep our eyes on the prize. Yes, let's keep our eyes on the prize. The prize quite literally is a key which we need to collect, you know? That's not too big of a prize, but we still know we'll get ourselves a cool pet once we finish that. <laughs> ah, well if you guys ask me, I would call that a successful run in the Ice Tower. We finished one floor, we came... One seventh of the one one eighth of the way there to um, get, uh, helping um, what do you call it to helping add a get out. So if you ask me, I would consider that a successful episode. We got ourselves access to the ice tower, played some prodigy in it, and yeah. All right, guys. So I hope you guys found this video sort of entertaining, and yeah, if you did, hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and give this video a humongous thumbs up if you guys haven't already. I will be catching you all next time. One Dr. Genius out the house. Bye and have a good time. Also, hit that red subscribe and like button. Wait, no, hit that red subscribe button and that like button.